Hello everybody and welcome back to my shed. Um, now I've had a bit of a reconfiguration uh, today. It's been a fairly bright and sunny day. Um, I got the other day um, two new 50 watt monocrystalline solar panels from a company called Triple Solar uh, who sold me them on eBay. I put an offer in and they accepted. Um, now I've mounted them on my shed and I'll show you some images of that shortly. Um, but what I thought I'd do is, because I've now got two 12 volt solar panels, I thought it'd be interesting to see what the difference was if I ran at 12 volts as opposed to 24 volts and see what the difference was between the two. So what I've done at the moment is I've got one 50 watt coming in here, another 50 watt coming in here. I'll turn them on shortly. Sun's nice and bright outside, you can just see that in the corner of your screen. Um, and then in a few minutes I'll swap it around to 24 volts where they're running in series rather than parallel and we'll see what the difference is. Um, this is the new meter. I had to get a new meter because my old one only went 30 volts and when I try at 24 volts um, it'll actually maximum power point about 35 volts. So hopefully I've plugged everything in correctly and we'll see. This meter I've had to take out of the equation because it only goes up to 5 amps and potentially between the two of them at 12 volts when they're in parallel they can do over 6 amps or just sorry just nudging 6 amps. So I'll turn on panel number 1 voltage is rising, the charge controller is in bulk mode, don't know if you can see that, so it is doing MPPT. This suggests I'm getting about 0.6 amps at the moment, 600 milliamps, um, just 10 watts, the sun seems to have gone just behind the cloud, just have started, which is absolutely perfect isn't it? So it's running at about 18 volts, which is about right. Half an amp it reckons. This meter says 0.55 amps. That says the same. MPPT demo. Reckons my efficiency is up about 22%. It's putting 7 amps into my battery, it says, which is confirmed just about. 0.65 amps here, 650 milliamps. So I'll turn on the other one. So the MPT PPT charge controller still keeping them back in the mid 17s. Now I've got 1.16 amps coming in. Um, I have got some lights on in here that will be affecting. Can you still see everything? Just about what's going into the battery. I didn't think about that. So I've got 1.15 amps coming in. MPPT demo. 20% increase. Sun's gone in behind the cloud again. That is the maximum power point for these panels. They're still. 17.5 volts, which is nice to know this is finding that maximum power point. Just over an amp coming in, just over an amp going into the battery. Just need to wait for that sun to come out. Right, well after looking outside it doesn't look like there's going to be much more sun for a little while so I'll see what I can do here. Um, 1.15 amp coming in, 1.59 amps going into the battery, nothing coming out of the battery, 18 volts. I'm now going to turn it around so the uh, solar panels are in parallel, uh, sorry in series rather than in parallel and see what the difference is. Okay so it's been about two minutes um, weather's just about the same. The panels are now in series rather than in parallel, so I'll get much bigger numbers here. 
Let's see what happens. Hopefully nothing blows up. So the voltage is rising. 22. 25. The theory has it, maximum power point should be about 35 volts, look at that, 34.7. So now of course the amps will have um, reduced, is that right? Um, 0.66 amps there, but 1.44 going in. So let's see what happens. So we're getting 0.6 amps in from the panels and 1.45 amps going out of the panels. It reckons an efficiency of 99%. I think 99% might be its maximum. Can I calculate that's a bit higher than 99%? So hopefully the sun will come out in a minute. Point seven eight amps coming in. Point no one point six five amps going out. So I'll wait for the sun and see what I get. Okay, so the sun has just peaked from behind the cloud. I've got near two point nine amps coming in. That's the highest I've seen. And I'm in five point something amps there. Calculating that MPPT demo, it reckons 2 amps coming in, nearly 5 amps going out to my battery, which is right, that's confirming it. So I'm doubling the power coming in, using those extra volts, converting them into amps, DC to DC conversion, pumping those into my battery. Um, so I've had to have all my inverters on and pull as much... Um, drain out the battery as I can um, to get it back into bulk mode um, but I'm seeing some pretty big numbers 40, oh no, 14 amp hours 5.93 amps coming in off 250 watt panels um, which is fantastic the numbers on them I think say 2.85 amps each um, so the fact that I'm doing the MPPT in here, uh, because I've got them in series, not losing anything certainly. Um, so I'm really pleased with that. I'll come back another day, probably with some more information. But now of course my issue is that I'm producing far more power than I can ever put into my battery, or the, than I can ever pull out of my battery. So I need to start using it a bit more. I've got some plans. Um, some ideas so as soon as they're a bit closer to being uh, produced I'll let you know uh, remember to give me a thumbs up subscribe down below and like and share and all those things